What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Rock. Happy Halloween to everybody. Today, I wanted to make a creepy ass Halloween beat. So, I got some stuff set up. We got a few kits from Arcade by Output. It's a new synthesizer they released a few months back. It's really, really cool. If anybody hasn't had a chance to check it out, we'll have a good opportunity today to go through it and really see what it's all about. We've got uh, a drum kit from Native Instruments from their London Grit Pack. And we've got some vocals from Omnisphere. And I figure with the kits from Arcade, with the vocals from Omnisphere and with some drums, we should be able to do something pretty creepy. And uh, for folks who are new to producing, like myself, uh, this would be a good opportunity to really check out some different VSTs. Uh, Arcade's a new one, and it's really cool because it's a subscription system. And so instead of having to like, buy a VST, uh, which is something that since I've been learning, I've had to do you buy Omnisphere, you buy Keyscape. Uh, Arcade is so cool because you don't have to buy it and download all these sounds that you may or may not use on your system. Uh, and you're able to just subscribe. And then as you need a kit, you can download it. They are constantly releasing new kits, collections, I think they're called. And they range from really cool, like melodic guitar riffs, piano melodies, to really interesting stuff like modular synthesis that they've recorded. And the way it works is on your keyboard, you're able to play these different samples um, and then you're able to add effects to all of them. And we'll walk through that today. Uh, so it'll be a pretty cool walkthrough. And I hope that, you know, at the end of this, we can see that just using a few different sounds, I think we maybe have four or five in total, we can put together something pretty cool. Uh, so without further ado, I'll stop talking and we'll get to some beat made. So here we are in Machine, and you can see that we have three tracks, Arcade, the Deep Mud Kit, and Choir. And inside of Arcade, we have two different collections, Gothic Prophecies and Stranger's Tale. And if you can see, we look at it here, we're in Nightmare right now, that's the collection, and the kit is Gothic Prophecies. And you can see these are different effects that you're able to apply to it. And uh, so let's stop talking and kind of get right to this. Let's, let's lay something down. So we just laid that down, and now we can actually go in and put some drums on top of it. We've got a little bit of a melody going with that. And so we'll go in and let's try to put some drums down. So we've got a groove. We've got something that's got a little bit of bounce to it. Now I'm gonna go back into our arcade track and try to find some other melodies to mess around with and then off those melodies, come back into the drums, start to modify the drums so that we can build up some richness of our patterns. So that when we get to arranging, we've got a few different things going on that we can play with in terms of intros and verses and choruses and it all kinds of start, it tends to start in a really simple way. So 
So here we are in Schrodinger's tail. Let's see what kind of sound we've done. So now we've got a couple of different patterns laid down and uh, we have two different tracks inside of Arcade and what we're able to do now is to go into that second track and add a counter melody to the first one so we can build up a little bit more stuff uh, from Arcade. Let's see what we've got going on. So things are starting to build up. We haven't touched our atmosphere choir, so let's go in there and see what we've got going on. The rest of these tracks, you can see here, if we click into it, they're in E minor. Omnisphere is awesome because it's really easy to change the key of the instrument that you're using. So all of these samples that are in here are in E minor. So here, using the Omnisphere instrument, we're going to want to make sure that we stay in the key of E minor. Let's just play around and see what we got. I dig. Let's lay something down.
Now we created a third scene, and we'll start to mix and match the sounds that we've got going on. So let's take some drums. Lose that pattern, we'll put something else in. I dig. Let's try something. scene set up there and uh, what we're able to do is to organize them into an arrangement which we can do and let's build an intro a verse and a chorus and then maybe we'll create a bridge to fit in between typically in the intro I like to pull out a bunch of the instruments so we'll lose the choir we'll lose the drums and uh, maybe we'll just keep something dark and deep from one of the arcade kits let's try it Creating the scene, let's call it intro. Pull it to the front. And let's see what we've got here. I think that'll work awesome as an intro. From there, let's add the drums in our first pattern. And so that transitional sounds something like this. going to sound good as a bridge in between this, we can call this the verse, we'll call this one the chorus, let's see what that sounds like. Yeah. That's awesome, call that chorus. Here, let's, let's create our bridge. And we've got these drums, what do those sound like?
a song so that we can start arranging. Now here you can see we have our intro, our verse, our bridge, and our chorus. Let's see what this sounds like. sounds, some drums, some synthesizers from Arcade and Choir from Omnisphere, we're able to get to something a little bit creepy. So that's it for today. Uh, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up on it. If you disliked it, give me a thumbs down. And uh, if you have anything to say, let's use the comments. I'd love to connect with people who love music on here. I spend a lot of time on YouTube watching other producers and learning a lot. I'm still learning so much myself as I go through all this. And uh, I think this is officially my third YouTube video, and I plan on making a lot more. And I hope two things happen. One, quality improves. Two, nerves decrease. So uh, I'll see you around next time. Thanks so much for tuning in.